We've just found out within the past 24 hours that Tesla have been working on hardware upgrades, literal hardware upgrades called a significant drivetrain improvement to the Cybertruck. This is kind of really fascinating news that this would happen within, what, less than two months after Tesla already revealed the Cybertruck. Significant drivetrain improvements are on the way, said Elon Musk. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to see you. I hope you've had an amazing weekend and this week's going well for you. Remember, guys, you will feel better if you do something that I've been doing lately. Just a little tip here. Do 10 minutes of walking or very light exercise after you eat. Lowers your blood sugars. So if you eat something you don't you think, oh, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't have eaten that. It's a really good strategy. I take a tablet, one tablet of berberine and I go for a 10-minute walk or I do 10 minutes of exercise on my, my stationary bicycle, and that gets my blood sugars back down. Just a little tip there. Elon Musk has revealed the Cybertruck has some major upgrades coming. The most striking Cybertruck feature, of course, is the fact that it looks insane. It's the weirdest looking pickup truck ever made. It has 48 volt technology, which is unlike any other automaker. Tesla's actually apparently shared that technology with other automakers. It sent them um, information on how to actually manufacture this. Kind of intriguing that they did that. However, the other thing people are forgetting is Tesla has steer by wire variable gain steering, which is something other automakers have been working on for many, many years. They've been working on trying to make that work. In fact, Toyota have said they admitted 10 years ago they were trying to make that work. Uh, every other automaker has been trying to get that to work, but Tesla were the first ones to figure that out. I think the Cybertruck is not getting enough credit for what it is. It's revolutionary in quite a few technical ways, not just its wacky design. But apparently Tesla is saying, you know what, that's not enough. An 800 volt system that's capable of 350 kilowatt fast charging, it's not enough. Um, YouTube is apparently uh, uh, buying the Cybertruck and creating some pretty sensational videos saying that um, fit and finish is terrible, this is terrible, that's terrible. I think it's sort of exaggerated some of those videos because people know if you click on them, you will pay them money. Well, they will be, get paid money by YouTube. If you click on the video, so the more sensational that it is, the more negative it is, the more people will click, especially if it's something to do with the Tesla Cybertruck. In this instance though, I think it's interestingly positive news that Tesla has already revealed it is going to actually do something that you probably might not have heard about yet. Tesla are going to significantly tighten the turning radius of the Cybertruck to make it turn even sharper than what it already does. It turning radius of the Cybertruck is already similar to a Tesla Model S. There's no pickup truck that has a smaller turning radius as the Cybertruck. Um, I've driven pickup trucks quite a bit and you know, you gotta do a three point turn, uh, uh, you know, a lot of hassle. Cybertruck has a smaller turning radius, but apparently Tesla have actually decreased the turning radius. To give you some context here, the turning radius of the Cybertruck right now is 9% less, so one tenth, shorter than that of a Ford F-150 crew cab. So standard cab, standard bed, not the long version, the standard shorter bed version, 9% less turning radius. Tesla is saying you're gonna make it even shorter, but it's variable. So it's not gonna feel like you're driving on the highway, you turn the car, whoa, you know, all of a sudden you turn the other lane really fast. It doesn't work that way. The faster you go, the slower the steering becomes. So you don't have instances like that. That's one of the things Tesla have been working on on the Cybertruck. They've also said that they have further improvements in the works, including significant drive train improvements. This could be a response possibly to the fact the Cybertruck's range has been tested and it's been said the range figures don't meet Tesla's claims. Now, this isn't actually true, guys. This is not me being a hardcore Tesla fan. I'm simply pointing out the facts here. I have not seen any electric car ever meet its range claims, other than maybe like the Porsche Taycan, which I think did more than the EPA range. But other than that, I haven't seen anything else meet its claim range when it's driven at highway speeds. In fact, EVs don't. If you drive EVs in stop-start traffic, they often will meet their range claims, it's very common. But if you drive them on the freeway, it's very, very rare for a, an electric car to meet its range claims, because those range claims are not from freeway. They don't freeway test them to give you that EPA range or that WLTP range. It's over a mixed combination of driving. So for example, if you were to drive your internal combustion engine, whatever car you've got, anything, 
it's extremely unlikely you're going to hit the range claims or the you know the efficiency claims from the manufacturer if you drive it in stop start traffic try it i mean i don't think there's anyone who's ever met the claims of any internal combustion engine vehicle if they're driving it in city bumper to bumper traffic stop start stop start stop start turn engine on turn engine off turn engine on stop start you know if you have that kind of feature it still only helps with your range a tiny little bit so EVs are the exact opposite. EVs do incredibly well in stop-start traffic. They often will meet those range claims, but driven on a freeway as a Cybertruck was tested, yeah, no, pretty much no EV will meet those range claims because they're not for just freeway driving. So Tesla didn't lie about its range claims, but I believe Tesla are responding to that. They're thinking, you know what? We might be able to make the Cybertruck more efficient, significant drivetrain improvements on the way. I think those are to do with efficiency. Tesla are probably going to roll out a range increase that's what i think tesla plan on doing to try to improve the cybertruck's range compared to its competitors to make it you know it's an amazing vehicle but that's the biggest criticism that i've seen in the cybertruck the range is not enough i think that's what they're doing i'm not too sure but we do know one thing is changing that is the turning radius and drivetrain improvements if anyone else knows anything else please let us all know in the comment section below bye bye